Hello friends, so welcome, welcome again to this uh, part 2 of the previous video. In the previous video, I have just created one server client, uh, server and client and the local host and uh, we just send one message from the client to the server. So in this video, I will be explaining that how you can do a chat box there, how you can chat it there and also how you can use your mobile as a uh, client also. So here in this program, so I have not done any change here. So one thing only I have done instead of using the local host. So I have here used here your low IP IP of the server. Basically my uh, laptop and uh, my mobile is connected to one uh, common uh, Wi-Fi modem. So I just uh, I, I have to find that IP. So how to do that? So to find the IP, so you can just go to the command prompt and you can write it right here IP config. So if you write here IP config, then you will see if you have uh, connected to wireless LAN, then you will get one IP here. So this IP, uh, after getting this IP, so what you can do, you can just put the IP here in the server as well as in the um, socket also, uh, client also. Now I am, what I am doing, I am just putting a while loop here and then I am again uh, in the while loop and accepting the client connection, I am printing the client address and then but the message that is sent from the client side I am receiving here printing that message after I print the message again I am giving the input from the server side and I am sending that uh, message to the client C dot send and here I am receiving the message from uh, the uh, client okay so this is uh, let us see how does this work so I will start the server now so see here server is created and waiting for connection now I will run the client mine uh, client here also the client here it is asking for message i'll write hello so here it is received hello and it is asking to enter the server message i'll write hi so then uh, here i can write how are you so here i can write i am fine i am fine okay so like this uh, it will go on so now let me just close this client from the system so if i press close you can see it will close here if i close then connection is closed so that is the if condition that i have given if message equals to close then it will close both server and client and here also same thing so it just closed it now we will try to do it from the mobile the same thing so here i will run it again the client okay the server is running now i will bring up my mobile screen here so this is my mobile screen you can see and uh, you just see i have just copy pasted this code to my mobile okay so what will happen now if i run this code on the mobile now the mobile should be able to connect to this client to this server so i'll click here run so now you can see it is mobile also gets connected if i write it hello okay i have written it hello it might not be visible but that is what i'm writing hello and here it uh, receives the message hello okay so here again i can write my code hi So now it goes here, hi, and it is asking me to type one message here. I'll write, I am fine. How are you? I'll write, how are you? And enter. So it is received the message, how are you? And uh, here I'll write, I am fine also. I am fine. And you can see in the mobile it is received. Okay. Now I'll just type close. I'll close here. And I'll as well close here now it's done also in both way it is closed so you can see here it is written program finished uh, i don't know why it is not visible here okay so this program is finished here so that's how we can just create one client and server and you can uh, connect to the uh, mobile as a client also and how i'm running this code in the mobile so basically this is a application that i'm running here okay so yeah so this is basically application here this is a pyroid 3 you can search it in uh, google uh, play store and you can download it this is a pyroid you can write the python code here and you can run so that's it from this video i hope this is helpful and uh, you can use this video use this video and this programming for your better understanding so thank you have a good day